We've got the Perseid meteor shower coming up uh, in August. Uh, basically, it peaks on August 12th, but uh, the Perseid meteors come into this area about, about August 9th or so, and they really leave about the 14th or 15th. So I always tell people a couple of nights before, a couple of nights after, and actually, technically speaking, it's mornings because meteor showers are best seen after midnight. Uh, which sometimes is a problem because usually their ideal time is about 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, picture a car driving through a, a snowstorm. The front window gets covered with the snow, the back doesn't. So after midnight, as the Earth is rotating, you're heading into the area in space where, where meteors come from on, on any given night. Perseids are usually bright enough. Uh, you can see from your backyard. I mean, if you're in the middle of a large city, you're going to have a problem. But around eastern Kentucky here, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're in Prestonsburg, Paintsville, Pikeville. A couple of miles out of town is pretty good. Uh, you know, a stone crest is usually pretty dark here. Uh, I mean, you've got places down in Pikeville and Paintsville that are pretty easy to see. So you don't need totally dark skies. And again, with this one, it won't make too much difference because that moon is going to be throwing some light out there anyhow. So even if you're observing from a place is fairly lit up between you know the moonlight's going to kind of kind of dampen the view anyway when we tell people to go out and observe these things they go out with their families and they always remember stuff like this and and you know you're observing something that really is from a long time ago uh, in the case of uh, most many meteors that you see in the sky, you know, they're, they're several billions of years old and this is the way this is too, even though this is from a comet that was discovered in BC, uh, you know, 20 or so BC, that comet has been around for billions of years, so you're seeing something that, you know, it precedes the time of all of us being here, basically, so it's a cool thing for memories and, you know, people come in here all the time and say, hey, we saw the meteor shower last summer or two summers ago, it's nice to go out and do that with your kids or your neighbors or, or whatever.